Hey, it's Joe Amoy, founder and creator of the GPSforlove.com. And today I want to talk about something that I see happening all the time with the members of our GPS for Love community. And so if you're at that point in your love, like where you're having a hard time creating those results you want, you're having a hard time meeting good guys, or you're having a hard time letting go of the past, whatever it may be for you, I want you to pay close attention. Because what I think you may unknowingly be doing is that you're focusing on the problem instead of the solution. You know, it's something I see all the time, especially when I start working with my mentoring clients right in the beginning. Joe, you don't understand. It's so difficult. You don't understand. It's so hard. Joe, what you don't understand is like having a hard time trusting. Now, I'm not saying that all these things aren't true because, again, your perception is your reality. So if you focus on how you've been screwed over, how you've been hurt, and again, not to minimize those things. I'm not saying that that's not real for you, that emotionally you're not feeling and you're not experiencing those things. But if you keep focusing on the problem, you're never going to go forward. You know, one of my favorite expressions is you can't get to second base with your foot still on first. See, in order to move on, you've got to be able to let go of the past. Now, here's where the inherent challenge is. Some of you say, but I don't know how to do that. And that's fine. Or I can't do that. Or there's no good guys out. Whatever it is, you've got a story that you've been running. And that's what you keep focusing on. You keep focusing on the problem. And as long as you focus on the problem, that's exactly what you're going to see. So what I want you to do today is take some mirror time and really take that good, honest assessment and ask yourself, what have I been focusing on? Am I focusing on the problem? Is it I'm focusing on that there are no good guys out there? Am I focusing on online dating sucks? Am I focusing on that older guys just want younger women? Whatever it is for you. Because remember, at the end of the day, you only need one. Now, there was a time in my journey where I felt the same way, where I was dejected. I was disgusted. I had hated dating. And, you know, it just, it, I was done with it. But what I really realized is that I was focusing on the problem. I was focusing on everything that was wrong. And once I started focusing on the solutions and I started putting my mental energy towards that and I started taking action from that place, it's amazing how things just magically turned around. And I see it all the time with my clients is we take them out of this mindset is that I can't do this or it's too difficult or it's too hard. And we get them to open up to the possibilities of seeing things different. Because once you open up to the possibility and you focus on that, you're going to start moving and taking action in that direction. And you're going to start getting little results. And once you start getting results, you create something called momentum. And that's where the magic happens. That's when things just magically kick in. And all of a sudden, your reality changes. You start seeing that, you know what, there are great guys out there. There are older guys who are looking for a relationship. There are guys who have been divorced who are emotionally available, who have learned from their mistakes. Now, I want to stress this and I want to emphasize this over and over and over again. You only need one. Now, I know some of you are watching this going, yeah, but I don't know how to do that. Well, what I'm going to ask you is a simple question. Is that you don't know how to do it or you're afraid to do it? Because if you learn how to do that, that opens you up to the chance of being hurt again. And here's the thing, 96 to 98% of what you think, say, or do happens from your unconscious level. So there's a part of you that's driving the bus and you don't even know about it. So the way you recognize that, and that's why mirror time is so important. You simply start observing. What do you think? What do you, what do you focus on? What do you talk about all the time? And if you start noticing that, you'll get a real indication of what's going on underneath the surface. So if you want to get some great results, you want to move on, you want to start having fun, you want to figure this whole dating relationship thing out, start doing one thing. Start focusing on the solution instead of the problem. As always, it's honor and privilege. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what's come up. What are the questions? What are the concerns? What are the comments and feedback you have? Because, you know, at GPS for Love, we're all about helping you on your journey so you can go out and create the relationship you really desire and deserve. We'll see you next time. Much love.